Today's lesson is all about pillowcases. Um, we're going to make pillowcases today with a different. Here are the measurements, which are which is what I'm using. As you can see on the pillar, this bit here is the inside of the pillar, which is the finish size of the pillar. The pillar is 19 inches wide by 36 inches. On the outside, I'm going to make almost a two inch, let me see now, border all the way around. And as for the back, the back will look like that with the flap on the inside. So after making this pillowcase up with a different, we're going to stitch it twice, one at the top, one at the bottom. We tidied up the inside here by just giving it a, a little hem. Uh, and then we're going to stitch it. So that's one action, that's two action, and um, that's three and four. And by the time we've gone all the way round, it would have we would have stitched this pillar five times. And that's large. Here's the pillowcase, and as you can see, how much it does not fit, and it squashes it up and I don't want that. So now I've got four pillows on my bed, I now have this problem. So I've cut the fabric out already as I've shown you on the table. What I've done is I've cut it in one long piece. So the length of my fabric, I think it was 159 inches. And I'm gonna show you by doing it this way, it's just to stitch your pillowcases ready. But after then, I'm gonna go a step further just to make it a little more fancier. So I show you how easy it is to do it. Two stitches, that's it. So that's your long piece of fabric. I'll put that aside. And here, here it is. There is your envelope inside there. And this is the one that goes on top. And all we're going to do is to stitch along the top bit here and the top bit there. So all this now, this is how it's going to end up finishing. So what we need to do now is to bag it out and to stitch along there and to stitch along there. That's all we need to do, and that's the pillowcase ready, and normally, and then you just turn it back inside out, and that's it. I'm just going to pin this section here to make sure it stays there. Pin that section there, and I'll do the same here. And now we're going to turn it inside out. So I'll grab hold of it, turn it inside out. And there we have it. So now I'm going to take this to the machine and all I'm going to do is stitch the top, stitch the bottom and believe you me, that's it. Your pillowcase is finished but we're gonna take it a step further. So I'm gonna go and stitch the two together now and then you'll see the end result. You can see it's now stitched down. There's the envelope. This is inside out. This is on top. One stitched all the way along here and the same with the opposite side. We didn't have to stitch the two ends. So now we're gonna bag it out and that's that done. So if this was a normal size pillar case, your pillar case is finished. But as I said, we're gonna go a step further. I'm gonna make this a bit more fancier. So that's it. So I'm gonna iron it now. And I'll show you it at this stage. 
put this pillow in because this is going to be too big for it at the moment because we're going to go a step further. So there's your pillowcase. So if it was your normal size, that's it. We're just two. Let me see. One, two, three, four. Four steps and then your pillowcase is finished. That's it. Right, so now to go a step further. And that's just showing you if we were making an ordinary pillowcase. So we're going to now iron this and get it sharp. And then we're going to either you draw with a tailor's chalk two inches all the way around as your guideline. But what I like to do, I like to press it. So that's, that's what we're going to do now. I press the marks that I want to see when I stitch. Because now we're going to achieve this stitching mark all the way around to make our pillar much more tighter. Right, so you can see I've done my mark in. See the iron marks? And that shows you that's where the pillar's going to sit inside. And that's what I'm going to use as a guideline. Now, before I stitch all the way round, going to, you can't do that, otherwise you'll never get in to the top of the curtain. What we first do is we open this section up here we open it up, separate it from here, and we do a stitch line going from there to the end and stop. Yeah? And then we continue, close it back up, and then we continue stitching both the fabric. So what we do is we're not stitching the one underneath. So all we're doing is stitching the envelope to itself. Now this fabric that I use, used, it is uh, 110 inches wide. So you can only do this on wide fabric. So you can get sheeting fabric. So when you're making your own sheets, you use sheeting fabrics. Or when you're making your throw over, and one day I'd love to show you how to make throw overs. <clears throat> when you make throw overs, you do your pillowcase to match. This is what you will end up with. My husband is going to be very pleased to see that I've made the pillowcase at long last. Look at that, a nice tight fit. And the envelope inside, we now cover the pillar with it. How's that? There is 